Hello everyone, welcome back for another free shorty in which we say to the world that I'm still here. I'm still here and I hope that you're still here. It's really the only thing that you know for sure. We're going to see what I'm Still Here is all about. All I know is that it is a very short game involving us moving in to a new apartment, starting a new life. But then maybe something strange is going to happen. What could it possibly be? Okay, it's just telling us right off the bat what it is we're doing. We're moving into a new place, starting a new life. Our old life? Problems. Too many problems. We had to run away from it all. The landlord was a little weird, but that's okay, as long as we got a good deal on this. Because we had to start a new life. We, ha we decided we had enough of the old one, just too many things were going wrong. And, I mean, right there, we were consulting Wahoo Answers for the answers for our lives, and that's not going to result in anything good. We need to finish putting some books away. There's some books and stuff for the dining room. Oh, there are the controls. I mean, I'm already controlling it because it is a first-person game, and how do you expect it to control? No reflection. That's certainly not a limitation of the game. That's symbolic of that there's no reflection because we really don't know who we are. We're still trying to figure out our place in life. We're trying to figure out what it means to be us and to live in this big uh, oh get over that box to live in this big city you don't have much of a view in this apartment try to find our place in the world as I try to walk over this box there we go anyway it says that we yep there we go here's an interface I'm gonna use it to click on these books and we're gonna put the books away start our new life in an orderly manner these books, okay, this is different color. I'll put it on a different shelf. These books are going to represent our new life. Very orderly. Very clean. Everything in its proper place. Not like, not like how things used to be. Back on the ranch with that horse. Things are going to be much more orderly now. No problems with... Finding sources of water. Anything like that. That's all in the past. Feels good to just put those worries behind us and know that we're never going to have to deal with anything like that again. We're almost done with these books, I think. I think it's turning out well. There we go. Okay. So much empty space on this shelf. We won't be able to fill it all with these books. That just represents all, all the new books. Oh, man, not, not, not there. Oh. <laughs> what the heck? Why are they moving around? I need to figure this out. No, that's... No, nothing good is ever going to come from doing that. I mean, let's just pick up the books. I said I was going to put the... Let's see. Uh, let's clean these up. Clean these up. Come on, right... We can do it on our own. I cannot do it on my own. All right. I guess I'm going to have... Those books are trembling. I just refuse to stay on the shelf. Well, I guess we are actually going to have to ask the internet what can be done with these books and this bookshelf. Wahoo answers. All right, let's see. All right. Why don't my, I, or how do I... Try the first one. Why don't my... Oh. That's... Game... Subject matter getting a little bit darker than I thought it might. Uh, I mean, okay, let's deal with the important stuff first. They used to call me every day, but now they don't. We should try calling our parents to make sure they aren't dead. I mean, that's kind of a morbid answer. And as far as... I mean, are we asking this, or did someone else ask this and they got the answer to their question? Because it doesn't really apply to us if we're not asking it. Fortunately, all the lights work. Don't need to worry about that. All right. Why aren't the books staying on the shelf? What do you have to say about that, Internet? Oh, 
Throw my books away. Reading is for nerds. Can I do that? Do I have like a garbage set up anywhere? I mean, I don't really agree with it. Technically, a bathtub is a big garbage can. If you, if you want to use it that way, you can't. Who's to say you can't? Who's to say so? Well, no, not quite. All right, there we go. There, this is okay. This is the new bookshelf. I'm breaking new ground when it comes to decorating my apartment. Like most people would say, you shouldn't use the bathtub to store your books. Because where are you going to take a bath? I mean, you could take it in the bathtub, but then your books would get wet. And they would ruin the books. They're made of paper. But I'm saying no. I'm saying I am not going to be bound by the rules that you set for yourself in your life. I set my own rules in my own apartment. What? Is, who's going to stop me? Who's going to stop me from doing this? See, they're not going anywhere. This is a much better bookshelf than what I was doing right here. It's like, maybe I could put something else on this. Like something really heavy so it won't fall off. Like, this seems to be working okay so far. Hmm. Well... Let's check out Wahoo Answers and see if there's anything else on here that we should take a look at. Why don't why why don't my stuff stay still? Internet, why don't my stuff stay still? I need to know. All my furniture and stuff keeps moving around on its own. What is wrong? Got ghosts, bro. Oh, we need an exorcism. Oh snap, ghosts. Okay, I guess I guess this is kind of proof of ghosts. Do we really need to get rid of the ghosts? I was like, this is pretty awesome, actually. Can I grab that? Yeah, I can grab it. Ah, I can, like, throw stuff in it. In the swirling mass. Hold on. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. And it's like... The, the colors of the lights are changing? Why would anyone want to get rid of this? This would be like a great conversation piece. Like, you invite people over, you know, make some friends in your new apartment, and they come in, and they're like, what is that? And then you're over here saying, oh, that? Oh, that's just my ghost. Yeah, I have a ghost. What, you don't? <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, I guess I can't expect everyone to have their own personal ghost. Let me get those books back out of here. Oh, spooky. The go the, here are the books. Here are the books over here. The books are trying to join the swirling mass. Uh. Yep, there it goes. Wouldn't want to keep these books from joining the, their family. I mean, oh, it's on the computer. Hold on. There we go. Okay. Now all the books are doing okay. Yep, just sticks to the wall. You know, that is not a bad way to actually hang things up on the wall without actually having to drive anything into the wall. So many possibilities. For our new apartment ghost. But I guess we should take a look at the internet and see what they have what they have to say about this ghost. Let's see. The, I think the ghosts in the house like us. I don't think that applies to us. Try being an annoying jerk back so they know how it feels. Well, I don't think I need to do that. I want to get off on the right foot with my apartment ghost. Oh, really? Well, let's take a look at that one. Hmm. 
when the brakes are broken, you feel like you're losing control. Well, I did lose control of my books. I don't have this particular dream. Like the sometimes I might have a dream involving I'm driving and then the road under the car gets progressively thinner and more precarious. Like then I might be driving and then all of a sudden it turns out I'm driving on a railroad track. I'm like, uh oh, I have to be really careful, otherwise I'm gonna fall off this track. Now I don't know what that represents, but that seems to be the car related dream that I sometimes have. It's not that the brakes don't work. It's that there's something wrong with the road. I have some voodoo stuff going on? I'm gonna put that with a question mark, because I don't know. Pardon, I have to... Yeah, there we go. Let's see. There's creepy sounds. TV keeps changing channels. Uh, let's see. If I can get the attention of the spirits, I can ask them to stop. I don't know if I want to stop this. It's pretty good. I can't... Oh, man. Yeah, what does Wahoo Answers have to say about that one? Have you... Tr have you tried stop feeling bad? I mean, it's... Maybe I should give a, give a try to stop feeling bad. Alright, what else does it have to say? How do I print screen using a Mac? That's not really... It's not really important for what's happening right now. How do I delete my internet history? Because I don't want the ghost to see it. Hmm. I always wondered about this one. You just have to destroy the laptop outright. Well, I'll remember that for the future. How do I know if I'm being haunted, aside from the flying books? Eh, I mean, may, you know, I guess that's kind of what's going on. I haven't heard any creepy voices. Hmm, yes. The problem is not the books that are flying around. The problem is that I have too many books. I'm the problem. I need to have less books in my life. If I didn't have any books, there would be no books flying around right now. Wow, I didn't really think about it that way. Ghosts don't like it if you mess with the light switch. Well, this is a very practical answer. Hmm. I don't really want to annoy the ghosts. I mean, if we're being honest. Is there anything else I can pick up? To throw at the ghosts so, like, they can start spinning it around? I don't think there is. It doesn't look like I can actually pick anything up aside from the books. I can't pick up the laptop either. Um, alright, I guess I'll try turning the lights on and off. Yep, I can interact with that now. Oh, I did get the attention of the ghost. The ghost does not like it. It's not really a house, but... <laughs> the ghost is taken by surprise. Hmm... I suppose, as much as anything might make sense. Oh. Is this going to be a Silent Hill 4 situation? I mean, this, this one's a lot friendlier than the guy from Silent Hill 4, so... I don't think we have to worry about, uh... About our uh, neighbors being murdered seems like that's not on the table right now. What is on the table is finding a corpse that apparently was left in the apartment, and maybe that would be why the landlord was so uneasy about talking about this room. Hmm? Looks like there should be an item there, an object, but there is not. There is not. Doesn't seem like there would you'd be able to fit a corpse. Oh. Now 
And of course, the ghost did not remember how it died because its memory is very short. I mean, I don't really mind having a roommate, especially a roommate that doesn't actually, you know, it doesn't actually cost anything for the roommate to stay here, and the roommate can do neat tricks. Well, I guess there's only one option that we have here, and that is to... Is that really putting the fish to rest? Is this just going to force the ghost out of our apartment and into the sewers? I don't know, that doesn't sound like... That doesn't sound so great, but I guess it's what we're doing. The ghost seems to like it. Rest in peace. Sh sure. We'll say that. Just like in our soul, in the bowl and our soul, both of these things are emptiness. But maybe someday, maybe someday you and I will be able to fill the goldfish-shaped hole in our souls. Well, I mean, that's a toilet. And what do you mean you forgot to flush it? Seriously, learn some toilet discipline. your own apartment. You don't want to stick. You're going to stink up your own apartment. I mean, okay. All right. And that's, I'm still here. A free shorty emphasis on the short A story about a person who moves into their new apartment and finds that there are ghosts, zombie ghosts that must leave this house. And it turns out that you're able to help the ghost do it. And you'll always remember, you'll never forget the memories you had of these ghosts. Oh, of just the one ghost. Your little friend, who you knew for five minutes. The memory of the ghost will stick in the back of your mind for the rest of your life. As well as thoughts such as, why didn't I just keep the ghost in my apartment? I could have, like, recorded it and put the videos on YouTube or something like that. Like, that would be been kind of a big deal. Like, being able to actually demonstrate the existence of a ghost. It's like anyone could just come in and see it. It's not like it was playing hard to get. You could stand in it, like stand in the book vortex if you wanted, or throw things into it. And it would have been pretty cool. But no, that's not what we did. What we did was we flushed the fish down the toilet and flushed the ghost with it, because as we know, ghosts are attached to their bodies. So you get rid of the body, the ghost is forced to go with it to wherever the body is. And in this case, it was the sewers. So the ghost of our goldfish friend is hanging out in the sewers. You'd think the apartment would have been a preferable place. No. No, it wouldn't have been. This has been I'm Still Here, and I'll see you next time for another free shorty. But even though we may move on to another free shorty, we'll never move on from the memories of our goldfish friend. We'll never forget him.